get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, presenting the challenger, Anthony Showtime! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record now. 15 wins, no losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Israel. This is for the championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch good this luck. is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Here we go, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's all right, go. here we go. Will we crown a new UFC welterweight champion tonight? It is time to find out. Look at that, right to the temple. Sanya's strike attempt there is blocked. The kick lands. Straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, beautiful jab there by Pettis. Under two minutes to go. And there he swung with a haymaker. How about that chin? Missed the mark. Right hand lands flush. We have now hit the final minute of this championship fight. 
He clipped him. Pettis' kick to the body is blocked. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Pettis gets the tie clinch here. This is a very good spot for him, Joe. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. That knee might have landed there. The horn sounds for the end of round one. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us. Round two here. Starting off this round, you got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Nice inside leg kick. And he connects there. Oh, excellent exchange there. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. We show you the total strikes. Oh, powerful right leg kick. Try to establish that jab. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. That one appeared to stun him. He tagged him, he tagged him, he's hurt bad. This could be oh, it. He might be out. Oh. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. High kick! Yeah. Oh, wow! He's got him hurt here. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Straight right hand now just misses. Pettis' kick, that one blocked. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Asanya gets a He's hurt again. There. This could be it right here. his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Nice punch there by Pettis. Looking to avoid that left hand. Push kick there to the body. Straight right hand, no good. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, landed it. Watch the shot here, Joe. Oh, big knee to the body. Nice jab. All right, that's the end of round number two. Well, there is the horn and maybe even a 10-8 there, courtesy of the two knockdowns. Big round from Pettis. Two huge knockdowns. Big, big moments in that round. Here's a perfect head kick. Here's a perfectly placed kick that results in a knockdown. And here's a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. Ariane Celeste in the building.
Here we go, third round of this championship fight. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Nice jab there by Adesanya. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strike. Oh! He's hurt here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh! Oh! Didn't quite connect. Careful here, he's in trouble. And now he lands a combination. Really small. Oh, he hurt him again. He hurt him. Big shot. Oh, the jab followed by the right hand. Three minutes to go in round three. Strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well, he's got a strong jab. Wow. This for the third, though, Joe. He's hurt to the body. Oh! Oh! He is hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Very nice. Under two minutes to go. Oh, he's tagging him. He's got him right here. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Serious body shots. Adesanya gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Look at that jab. Nice. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Here's a look at some of the action here. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Relax. Excellent work. You really put that guy in his tail. I need you to get back out. The OG Ariadne Celeste in the building with us tonight. Scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so the championship medal of these two fighters figures to be tested beginning right now. Fourth round is on. Whoa! Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues. Oh! He's out! A huge kick for the knockout victory. Yeah, Joe, that one is going to be hard to top when it comes to handing out performance bonuses late in the night. A huge kick for the knockout victory, and he couldn't have caught him much more flush. Full force, full extension, and you knew if he connected with that weapon at one point in this fight, it was going to spell the end of the night for his opponent. Mission accomplished right there. And here we see it again. Crank right on the jaw. And there he is, our UFC welterweight champion of the world. He's going to like the sound of that. 
Getting it done with style points by way of knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 43 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC welterweight champion of the world, Israel. So the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this 100.